Number 5, that's my boy. It's an Adam Sandler movie for starters. The story is about a 13 year old kid who knocks up a school teacher and gets her pregnant. The teacher obviously goes to jail for having sex with a minor but she keeps the baby and gives it to the teenage Adam Sandler. Cut to 30 years later, the 13 year old now is 43 and is not on talking terms with his son. He is in some deep financial shit. One day he sees an article in the newspaper about his son getting married to some big shot woman. Turns out that his boy is also a big shot hedge fund manager now. So Adam Sandler goes to meet his son. What happens next is a funny roller coaster ride with few sparks of emotions. This is an amazing movie, has a hilarious and dysfunctional father-son relationship, lots and lots of moments to laugh, and Budweiser has done some epic promotion in this movie, which you will know once you see the movie. If you're feeling low, watch this movie. It doesn't matter whether you're drinking or not. If you're drinking, then you'll enjoy it more. Number 4. The Wrong Missy What happens when you text the wrong girl instead of your date, inviting her to an island resort? What if that wrong girl is the only person that you want to avoid in the whole wide world? And what if that wrong girl takes the invite and shows up? This movie has all the answers. Tim, instead of inviting his dream girl Melissa for his corporate retreat, texts another Melissa with whom he had gone on a disastrous blind date. So the wrong Missy shows up and takes us for a ride. Another movie from the Sandler crew, this movie is funny as hell. Lauren Lapkus' physical comedy is hilarious. David Spade's reactions and subtle comedy acts are amusing. Though the movie starts slow, it definitely snowballs into an entertaining feast of comedy. Number 3. Flight A flight carrying 102 people malfunctions mid-air and the pilot is forced to make a controlled crash landing in an open field. He saves 96 out of the 102 and is hailed as a hero only till the National Transportation Safety Board finds that he was flying the plane under the influence of alcohol and cocaine. The rest of the movie is how the pilot tries to come out clean from the investigation. This is actually a serious movie and features in this list due to the amount of alcohol in it. Denzel Boy gulps them all, feels like a good company while drinking. I'm sure this compelling story will keep you hooked and you won't fly high. Number 2. Hangover Needs no introduction. As the name suggests, it's actually a hangover story. Doug is getting married, so he goes to Las Vegas with his pack for his bachelor party. Once in Las Vegas, wild intentions meet wild drugs and all are knocked out. In the morning, Doug, who is supposed to be married the next day, is missing and all the others have a severe hangover. In bits and pieces, the rest of the movie unravels the mysteries of the night one by one. In the end, the audience only knows what they know. When I saw this movie for the first time, I didn't believe a bit of what was happening. It's only after a few years when I got sloshed out of my brain that I connected with this movie. This movie is a reality for all the people who get really pasted. With great performances and a fresh plot, this suspense comedy is definitely a good watch while drinking. Number 1. The Dictator I don't even know where to start. The Dictator of Wadia, Admiral General Aladdin is summoned by the UN for an address. He reluctantly accepts to go to New York. While in New York, he is kidnapped and replaced by a lookalike to serve the interests of some people. The movie revolves around how the dictator gets his place back and addresses the UN assembly. The plot is simple but the elements involved in each moment of the film is uproarious. I am sure this is one of the films which you will never forget after having watched once. However, this won't be liked by all as this has a combination of dark comedy, racism, misogyny, political jokes, the line goes on and on. You need an open mind to watch this, which you will surely have once you are drunk. The protagonist's English is slow and hence you can easily understand what's being said, although the accent can be a little tricky. Best part, the movie is really short, just 75 minutes if you take out the credits part. So by the time you're high, the movie would have gotten over. That's the end of this list, I have put the links for the trailers of all the movies I've discussed. Do like the video and also comment if you need a list of more movies. Alright? Subscribe by.